If you're healthy and 18 or older, Nucleus Network has upcoming studies that provide financial compensation ranging from $500 to $5,000 for study participation time. Visit NucleusNetwork.com to check your eligibility. Welcome into this Timberwolves Fast Break presented by Nucleus Network alongside Kevin Lynch. I am Katie Storm. Minnesota was looking to build on their big win over the Lakers on Friday night, but tonight the Clippers... Uh, had other plans as they would win this no game. 129 to 102. Uh, one word to describe it was just dominant uh, everywhere. Fast break points, 26 tonight, even in the in the paint. Yeah. 66 points. They really were effective and, and efficient in this game. They dominated the boards. That's another yeah. stat that Minnesota, when they get blown out of games, it typically they're getting uh, you know creamed on the glass and in the paint. So yeah, it's uh, and and the easy layups that Minnesota's defense gave up, and just all the different openings and cracks and, and crevices in that Minnesota defense. And, and I tell you what, the Clipper perimeter players, especially whether it's Reggie Jackson, Eric Bledsoe, Terrence Mann, Paul George, a variety of guys just getting into the lane at will. And uh, Chris Finch did not like the defense here tonight. They did not impose their will or make it uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form for Los Angeles. They basically, Katie, got whatever they wanted offensively. Yeah, we talked a lot about Paul George and Reggie Jackson going into this game tonight, how much trouble they could present to the Wolves. They were the leading scorers in the first two wins of the season, and now again, they're the leading scorers through the three wins the Clippers have over Minnesota so far this year. Looking at the final game stats, once again, 66 points in the paint for Los Angeles, opposed to 50 for the Timberwolves, as well as 26 fast break points, and they shot over 53% from the field. The Clippers, once again, pure dominance, and head coach Chris Finch just talked about the struggles for Minnesota tonight we just could not contain the ball it went wherever it wanted to go whether it was in pick and roll or isolations it just got by us it got deep into the paint to the rim um, you know it was layup after layup so Minnesota wraps up their four-game road trip one and three. They now head home to open up a four-game homestand at Target Center starting with the Phoenix Suns on Monday. Certainly a big challenge ahead as well as when you look at the upcoming opponents, the Kings and the Spurs. But the Timberwolves looking to put this loss behind them and look for a positive ending this Monday at home. Thank you for joining us here on this Timberwolves Fast Break presented by Nucleus Network.